A new exhibit on display at ASU peels back the curtain on humanity more than three million years ago. As Steve Nielsen learned today, ASU is behind countless human origin discoveries, including humanity's most famous prehistoric ancestor. 50 years since Lucy captured the world's attention. And in those 50 years since, Arizona State University has become a major player in finding the origins of humankind. Say hello to a cast of your great, 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 great well, an ancestor from 3.2 million years ago. Lucy's a humanoid with a very sciencey name. Australopithecus afarensis. And her cast is now on display at Arizona State University at the School of Evolution and Social Change. The exhibit celebrating 50 years since the monumental global discovery. ASU's Institute of Human Origins says finding Lucy changed everything. Started a new narrative in terms of how we evolved and how we came about to be who we are today. Johannes is the director of ASU's institute and currently leads three different research teams in Africa, digging in areas near where Lucy was found. They tell us about where we came from, right, and where we're going, because that's the key thing. Why do we study the past? Because we say the past is the clue to our present and the future. That area did a great job preserving the skeletal remains. In the past, uh, when Lucy was there, you would have had a much more of a um, wooded grassland or grassy woodland environment, so a lot more vegetation. Since Lucy was found, many others have been located a million plus years older as well. Johannes found a complete skull hundreds of thousands of years Lucy Sr. Crania like that, like the complete crania, are really extremely rare in the fossil record. You don't find them. They get broken into pieces. They say ASU is a leading researcher in finding the answers on the origins of humanity, and those three ASU dig sites still hold a lot more answers. It's really what's generating all of this data, particularly from the time when we think our genus Homo started appearing at about 2.8 million years ago, all the way to the beginnings, past, even past Lucy. What's incredible, even though this skeleton was found 50 years ago, they're still learning so much more about it. In fact, researchers just used clues from our hips to find that Lucy was not a very good runner. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.